fish. I was at my cabin. That's is that fresh water? I'm talking about salt water, which is very easy to catch fish. Okay. What do I order at Chipotle? Just the burrito with extra cheese, chip queso, or whatever the hell you call it. I'm not a big Chipotle fan. All right. If you want to learn how, hey, Florida fishing, chat. I'm gonna make a YouTube out of this. This is gonna be this is gonna be a YT. This is gonna be a YT fishing tips by Mike by Monday Mike. Let's check out the YT. So, first thing you want to start with. And if you're new to fishing, if you're new to fishing, oh wow, I'm getting all stuck up in here. Uh oh, there we go. Uh, a simple 2,000 or 3,000 wheel with a monofilament. Don't stay away from braid for now, but we'll talk about braid as well. Now this is my simple chicken rig for catching bait fish. Okay, Venice. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. Now here's how you, here's how you catch your bait. Okay, chat. You see that? I got, I got, I got, hold on, I'm going to put this on here. Hold on a second, chat. I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm up to speed here. So here we go. That's a simple bell sinker. You can buy them at Walmart for like a, a dollar for five of them, okay? A simple bell sinker, okay? And then you got your simple rod. This is, this is, this is the easiest way to get into saltwater fishing, okay? This is a Daiwa. It's not a bad, there's Abu Garcia, actually. Abu Garcia. Okay, so you got your weight. Okay, and then, chat, tiny, tiny hook, a number four hook, okay? You put, see, see how this works? Now watch this, chat. Uh-oh, I'm getting tangled, I'm getting tangled. Chat, I'm getting tangled. All right, here we go. Come on now, damn it. What the hell's going on here? Anyway, that's how it goes down. You just tie a simple, simple overhand loop, and you cut it. I'll show you to do that. You put a bell sinker on one, and you put the small hook on the other, and you tip that with squid. You can get squid at any bait shop, tiny, tiny pieces, and you'll catch pinfish. You'll catch grunts. You'll catch anything you need to catch to catch big fish, okay? So this is your first simple rig, and you can use this, this for fishing as well, okay? So anyway, to tie that... Chat. It's real simple. Now this is a, you can use pliers, okay? Hold on chat, let me get back to chat. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'll peek if we're gonna learn here, okay? So, say this is your line, okay? Now this is a little bit thicker than normal line. This is a liter, this is a 30 pound liter. This thing is handy, you can use regular pliers I bought this about, oh, two years ago, the boomerang, and I, I, I keep it clipped. I keep it clipped, like, on my thing, so I can, I, I'm automatically cutting, okay? This thing cuts braid. It cuts regular mono. But to make your fish finder rig, which is called a chicken rig, see I cut that? Now watch this. See, this is braid. This is braid. We're going to get into braid here in a minute. But this thing cuts braid like butter. Look at this. Chat, watch this. Well, fuck it. I can get it in there. Cuts braid easy. Braid's harder to cut. Okay? So you catch stuff that, yes, yes, just jelly. For the most part. Okay? I can go over the simplest things you can use. So anyway, so what you do to make your fish finder rig, it's called a chicken rig, which I had right here. God, dog it. Here we go. It's a chicken rig. You got a hook. You got a bell sinker, all off the same knot. This is the simplest knot to ever tie in your life, because you're only catching small bait fish. So, basically, you take you take your line, okay, chat. This would be your main line. That's all you need. You just take a loop, and you go one, one overhand knot. Put it back through. Well, let's see. Um, I'm, fun I'm, I'm, I'm I'm throwing here, chat. Hold on, chat. One loop, one loop, throw it through the loop. That's all, it's a, and then you tighten it down. That's all you gotta do. Then I got two, I got two ends here, right? I got two ends, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'll take my cutter. You can use pliers if you want. I cut it, boom. 
I tie, I tie the barrel swivel on one end, a hook on the other. You drop it down, and then you go. Okay? So that's how you catch your bait, if you want to catch the bait. Now going to bait, if you go to, if you want to buy some, a rig, okay? If you want to buy another reel, if you want to buy another reel, chat, take a look. If you want to buy another reel, if you want to buy another reel, um, this one is, this one's an Akuma, okay? It's, it's only 50 bucks, okay? Here's the thing. If you're fishing live bait, what you might want to do, this has a bait runner feature. You see this little clipper back here, right here, chat? I clip that up. It'll feed line out. You'll hear the fish scream the line out. All you gotta do is click it, and it clicks, and it's ready for full drag. There's a circle hook. I do like circle hooks. They do hook the fish in the corner of the mouth. They don't gut hook hardly ever. So it's safer for the fish. Um, but if you want to buy a, a reel for live bait, I would suggest you get an Akuma. I mean, you can buy this for 50 bucks, chat. You can buy this reel for 50 bucks. Now it's loaded with a braid. But it's got the bait runner feature, okay? See? You click this, click that, and that you'll hear it go out. And that's the most magical sound in the world. You hear it go out. It's the most magic sound in the world. But then I can either flip it or I can just crank. And it goes right into it goes right in. And then you're then you're on full drag for the fish, chat. So if you're gonna get started in live bait off a bridge, off a bank, it's good to have two rods. You have one bait catching rod, which you can lose use for everything. And then you have um, your your rod to uh, you have your rod to catch a fish. Okay. So, having said that, if you want to catch fish, again, you can go with your bait catching rod. Okay, I have I have a couple rods here. Can I chat? So you can go with your bait catcher, but this is your this is your go-to for any any kind of fishing. Okay, it's simple. It's a simple jig. Okay, you buy uh, Gulp works really good. This is a saltwater strong Slim Shady, which works really well. It's just a simple jig head tied with a loop knot. I'll show you how to tie the loop knot. You throw this out, you bounce it off the bottom, and you get fish. Chat. That's how you catch fish in Florida, okay? It's not that difficult. The fish are not that smart, okay? So that's your typical, that's your go-to. Now, this is a Stratic Shimano. I think it's a 3000. 3000 series is all you need, 3000 series. Um, and we got differences between braid and mono. Braid... You can feel the fish breathe on it. It's so sensitive. That's the benefit of braid. Okay. Mono, it's a little more spongy, a little more of a shock absorber. Mono, you catch more fish with mono. They don't get off as often, in my opinion. But I do like my braid. I like my braid for my, 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 uh, my artificial lures. Okay. So... Where are we at, chat? Here, let's take a look here. Let me take a look. Okay. So, basically, you can you can get set up with saltwater fishing with one reel if you want to just jig fish, okay? Or, on your simple reel, you tie up some plugs, okay? Um... This is a simple plug. You can use that. It goes through the water. Trout love these things. And then top water. Simple chug bug. Chug bug. Pop it. It pops. It spits water. It pops. You hear that? You hear that inside? They nail these as well. Okay. And then if you're you you know if you're going after some tarpon or something like that, 
You want to sight cast to them. These bait busters work great. And you see, I pinch down. I pinch down the barbs on most of these. It makes for an easy release. Um, so that's that's an easy way to, to fish. Um, so we got braid. We got uh, a lot in salt water. You need a floor. You need a, not fluorocarbon. You need a leader. Uh, I, I buy just the plain old monofilament leader, 30 pound test, okay? And uh, uni knot. Look up uni knot. Learn how to tie uni knot. That's the only knot. The only knot you need to know. Uni knot. Hey, make a command for uni knot. Only knot. Uni knot. Uni knot. Only knot you need to know. Line to line to the to the hook. I'll show you the uni knot. Chat, we're gonna go to R6 here in a minute. Now. So anyway, if you buy shrimp or even bait, this is highly recommended, chat. This one's beat up a little bit, okay? It is, this is a popping cork, a popping cork. It's basically steel, okay? It's got beads on one end. It, it, what it does, when, when you throw it out and you twitch your rod, it makes it, it makes that sound, okay? What you do, you, you tie your main line to the bead side, the light side. As you can see, you see that lead weight? That's the bottom. So when you throw it out there, it'll, it'll sit like that. Weight down, weight down. And then you pop it. Okay, chat, you pop it, you can use this, you can tie on your leader here, like I'll tie on a leader right now, with the uni knot, chat, watch this, I'll tie, I'll show you how to do it, we'll tie on, a, we'll tie it on, with the uni knot, okay, uni knot's very simple, look up uni knot, uh, there's a thousand YouTube videos on you not. Okay, I'm on the lead side, right? I'm with the heavy side. Heavy side's down. I'm going to tie my... You can put a jig head on the back of this. You can pop it with a jig head and catch all kinds of trout. Or put your live bait on the other end and let it sit and pop it a few times. But these, these I highly recommend these. Uh, if you, Unless you want to fish down low. And I'll show you how to do that with uh, some sinkers, okay? So anyway, what you do... Here's a uni knot. Put it through. Okay. You make a loop. You come back on the loop like that. You put those two lines together. And then you go one, two. It's a simple knot. Three, four. Four, four, five. See that? Now watch. Now watch how it ties down. Chat, watch how this tightens down. See that? It's called a jam knot. And that, well, what happened there? Yeah, there it is. There's your jam knot. That, I mean, chat, I can't break it. You, you can't break it, okay? Same thing. So you're going to a hook. So there, 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 here, I'll, I'll put my main line on here. Put your main line on the bead side, okay? The heavy side's down where your hook is or your, or your jig head. And then... Take a simple jig head. This is a good one right here. So you catch fish in Florida, chat, chat, chat. Sure fire. You will catch fish. Jig head. Okay. It's got the barbs to hold the bait. And then what I what I do, now this is this is the simplest knot in the world. Watch this, chat. I make a, soup, a simple overhand loop, and I put, the, I put the, the, just a simple overhand loop, okay? Trust me, this thing is so strong, it'll break. Put it through, put it through the jig head, okay? Put it back, back through the loop. You get your loop how you want it, tighten it down, okay? And then it is this simple, one overhand hitch. One overhand hitch. 
tighten it down, and you cannot break that knot. I've caught 40 inch snook on that knot. You can use the union knot as well, but this gives us that jig, it gives us some action. You see the loop knot in there? See the loop knot? You can cut this, you can cut this pretty trim. So here's what you got. This is for artificial bait. If you don't want to go live bait, if you want to buy, these are great. Hold on, Jeff. Where's my stuff at? These are good. Chat. These, trust me, you'll catch so many fish. On, just buy the gulp brand. These are flukes. They're five inch flukes. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you here how you thread this on. Real simple. You take your jig head. Got the loop knot in there so it moves pretty good. And you can do this without, and then you put the put it through there, feed it down, put the hook out, right? Feed that on there. And that's it. Okay. So you got your popping cork. You're gonna throw this out there, and this is gonna pop, and this is gonna jig around, and it's gonna get it's gonna get nailed. All right, my timer's off. I gotta go check my meat here on a second. Hold on a second, Chad. So that's that. Pretty simple rig. Again, if you just want to tie a jig head to your main line, you catch fish just with a simple jig head and get a gulp. Get the gulp flukes. I'd stay away from the shrimp. Get the gulp. The flukes work great, man. They catch everything. It has it has an incredible action to it. Okay. All right, where are we at, chat? All right. So what else we need to know? Uh, I wish I could do full, salt water. Yep. Um, there's a dirty lake. Yeah. See, lake. I'm, I'm talking salt water. If you ever get to Florida, go to any beach. Go to any beach and you just tie the jig head on and you're good. Um, if you're gonna live bait, you can use that little knocker rig. I call it a little chicken rig. Okay, right, Chet? Simple overhand lock, loop and you cut it and you have you have your, your uh, uh, egg sinker or uh, what's this called? It's called a barrel sinker or something. I don't know what it's called. Uh, you have that and you have that and you have this hit the ground and let it sit and that so that squid will just stay on this up top it'll stay above the grass line and you'll catch you'll catch your bait okay all right chat um anything more about fishing um do you want to have um get some good these are cheap Especially if you catch catfish, you don't want to be near a catfish because they'll they'll if they stab you with their if would they stab you with their spines, it will swell your finger up. I had my swinger my finger swelled up for three weeks. This is simple. You grab them, shake them off. You're away from the fish. Okay, these are these are these these are nice to have. Okay, uh, you want to have some polarized glasses? I buy cheap ones. These are like twelve bucks. Conquer, what's up? Cheap polarized glasses, okay? Helps you see through the water. Um, pretty simple to get into saltwater fishing, guys. It's not that hard. Uh, saltwater fishing is a lot easier than freshwater fishing. You can catch, a, you never know what you're gonna catch, okay? So we went over the live bait rig, okay? Uh, uni knot, uni knot is the only knot you need to know, uni knot. Look up uni knot. That's the only knot you need to learn how to tie. And you are a fisherman. That's it. You need not. Okay. All right, chat. Um, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire up the R6 stream, huh? I'm gonna fire up the R6 stream. 
I got my, I got my batteries. Hold on, chat. I gotta check my food here. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire up the. I'm gonna fire up the stream. What kind of saltwater catfish are there? There's gaff top. And there's hardhead. And they, they both suck. Um. There are yeah hardhead and gaff top sales. Gaff tops actually fight pretty good for their size. But they slime, they slime up your line, and then when they slime your line up, you just slap your line in the water like five times, and it gets the slime off them. Okay, but they're, uh, but th that's a that's a simple introduction to saltwater fishing, fellas. Chat, uh, mm -hmm. it's not that hard. I do recommend, uh, I definitely recommend popping corks. If you're even if you're using shrimp, chat. Okay. Even throw this out. You go buy some shrimp at the bait store, okay? Again, the heavy part is down. The heavy part's where you tie your leader on with a uni knot, 30 pound leader, okay? You don't need to buy expensive leader. Uh, you can buy fluorocarbon, which is invisible, whatever. I catch just as many fish with the other leader. I don't care. And then either have your jig head or your hook for your shrimp on there with a simple loop knot, and you're catching fish. You're catching fish all night long. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn my thing off here, and we're gonna get the. I'm gonna get the batteries going. I'm gonna change the chat. That was the uh, that was the saltwater experience. These are handy. Boomerang. I keep these clips to myself. I usually I'm fishing like on a little pocket, and I, I'm ready to go. I can I clip all my stuff and, and tie it all good. A good set of pliers. You don't have to get anything fancy. You know, simple pliers if you want. If you want. Um. That's about it. I got all kinds of stuff here. Braid, we can get into braid maybe next lesson. Braid is a little more advanced with the knot tying. Uh, you can you can actually hear the fish breathe on your bait. It's so sensitive. But being sensitive, you have to have a little bit better knots. All right, Aiden, Aiden, I, I'm glad. I'm, I, I hope I helped a little bit. I mean, you can get by, chat, you can get by with a simple, a simple rod and reel. And you can either live bait, or you can, or you can jig fish, or artificial bait fish. You can catch your bait and then tie it different and tie on the live bait. You can get started. You can get started in saltwater fishing for fifty bucks and get a decent combo, a decent one. Okay. Right, hold on. I got. I got. I got. I'll be back in a second. Chat. Give me a second. We're gonna.